YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Coach Jay coming at you with another five minute or less video. Um, I just kind of want to talk about those stringers that are in the game or stringers that want to get in the game for their own personal business. It's okay to start a stringing business. You don't always have to work for a retailer, a tennis center, a pro shop, um, a major tennis chain, uh, Tennis Express, Tennis Warehouse. Or I know Tennis Express for sure has a, a facility where there are stringers there. Um, Sometimes they feel underpaid. That's a story for another day. But for this particular video, I'm gonna give you a few steps on how to start your stringing business and how to be successful on your own, how to even build your clientele if I can in five minutes. All right, so number one, get a stringing machine that's interchangeable. There are drop weights, there are cranks, and then there are um, electric machines. Um, a drop weight is gonna be your cheapest one, followed by the cranks gonna be a little bit more expensive. You're talking about $300, $400. And then your electric machines go anywhere from $700 on up. Um, I've seen $6,000, $9,000 machines, depending on what brand and what company. So just make sure that when you're out there, try to get a machine that has multiple accessories to add on to it. Whether a crank machine, uh, with crank machines, I like them personally better because you can always add a wise tension ahead when it gets more feasible in your pocket six seven hundred more dollars and now you got a crank turned into an electric machine a lot of players and a lot of stringers use that kind of machine so that's important the second thing is you don't have to buy a billion dollars in string the alu powers the linkos the um the technofibers the laser fibers the snake bites and every other string in between the natural guts oh lord the babylon rpm blast I, my gosh it's expensive but if a stringer or if somebody's coming to you for that it's okay to charge them for that string that's perfectly fine what you need to make sure that you do is Give them that in advance. Hey, look, I don't have an inventory, but I have an I have um, a place where I can get this inventory from. If there's something particular that you want, I would suggest either you bring it to me, or I can get it for you and string your racket. Let them pay for the string. Let them pay for the labor. Third thing, don't be afraid to charge them good price for labor. Um, Fifteen to twenty dollars. That's really solid. I don't suggest you go over 20 bucks for labor um, unless you live in a uh, completely different area where that's normal. But around here, especially in the state of Texas, um, lower end stringers start at 10, high end string costs about 16 to 20 bucks um, as labor. Um, I know that store that I was working at started at $15 labor. So. That's a very good, very good range to kind of start in, 15 to 20 bucks. If you're charging 20, you better do a premium job. That's all I'm saying. Um, but don't be afraid to say, hey, I need you to get the string or go get the string for the customer and then have them pay for it. Nothing wrong with that. Next, I want you guys to know that you don't have to start buying a bunch of stuff to go with the stringer. You really only need... Uh, a pair of clippers. I've seen people use uh, fingernail clippers as clippers for string. That's really, really, really cheap. You can start it with nothing. You got to know that you got to make this work and fit you. Okay. Um, a pair of pliers, you're looking at three to six dollars. Um, and an awl. You can actually buy an awl at like a Home Depot or Lowe's. They sell them really fine and really thin. I have couple of those as well as your professional Wilson R's or things like that those are perfectly fine and then get your get your if you're using floating clamps or if you're using your starter clamps just make sure those stay clean make sure the string where the string bed sits into the um, either your crank or your electric machine or your drop weight keep that clean and you can start stringing 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 the last thing is when you're starting out and you haven't been in this game in a while or you haven't been in this game at all dummy string is the grist 410 competition has a string that's like 30 40 bucks for a reel play around with that dummy that in you'll be all set all right so five minutes or less this is coach jay getting ready to sign out love you i'm about to go dance with my son see y'all later